won the Irish Formula Ford, Super Ford, got some hedges round. He won the 1600, and here he is lying second to Ayton De Silva. That is absolutely no disgrace. There he goes, Ayton De Silva, in the distinctive yellow and black colours of Brazil, his home country. Down he comes. And it looks almost certain now that he's going to put yet another cup on his sideboard. Second place man, Joey Green, and third, Chris Nissen, that's Calvin Fish in fifth place. And our race leader, De Silva, at only 21 years of age, must have an enormous future. He does indeed, and um, quite an indication of his talent is how smooth he looks. At that time, slightly ragged, but he doesn't seem flustered. The car isn't running off onto the dirt. It's a fair indication that this pilot has a lot of talent. He's won at Donington, he's won at Zandvoort, he's won at Hockenheim, and he's won at Zeltzerg in Belgium and Jelander's Ring. And it's going to win also here at Mandelo, almost certainly. Out over the curbs, maybe a little bit unnecessary because he's still trying. Down he comes. Out of Dunlop. And that's the fist of the air and the checkered flag. Once again for Aiton De Silva. What a magnificent driver. But look at this guy's uh, second place looks like Joey Greenan, but third is far from decided. No, indeed. They're neck and neck to Dunlop Corner, but I think that's going to be the order of the way they ran in the race. No changes. Nobody made a mistake. So the order is, as we read out, De Silva first, Green in second, Nissen third, Duffy fourth, and Fish fifth. So Joey Greenan can be justly proud. There's De Silva. A face that we're going to know extremely well in the future, and I would be almost certain that a face that we're going to see in Grand Prix racing before...